hot stuff coming through. Nuclear spent fuel samples from commercial reactors are unloaded at the European Commission's Institute for Transuranium Elements for close investigation. Nuclear fuel at the beginning of its life is a very well-known material. During the life in the reactor, under the effect of neutron irradiation, several nuclear reactions occur. The fissile atoms uh, break and form fission products. Uh, other nuclei absorb neutrons and form heavier elements. As a result of all these processes, irradiated nuclear fuel becomes a quite different material, which is characterized by very high uh, radioactivity level. So the hot cells that you see here uh, are the way to perform materials characterization, which would be standard on normal non-irradiated compounds, but can be extremely complicated on such uh, materials like irradiated fuel. The 24 shielded hot cells can handle up to one million curies. Behind one meter deep viewing windows, spent fuel rods are sliced, polished and prepared to be scrutinized by the ITU researchers. The first mission of the hot cell unit is to produce detailed information about fuel behavior in the reactors, in particular how the elements generated by irradiation interact with the fuel. All these new elements that are formed need to accommodate themselves inside the original material. Some of them do it easily, some of them uh, don't want to stay in the ceramic matrix. What we measure here are uh, mechanical properties, so how much does the fuel swell during the irradiation in the reactor. We measure thermophysical properties, so how does the capacity of the fuel to dissipate heat change during the life in the reactor. Um, and we measure also the behavior of some special fission products, in particular fission gases that are noble elements, so they don't want to react with other uh, elements, and they tend to form bubbles, and they tend to, they want to go away from the fuel. All these aspects are very important to determine the safety of the fuel during its operation in the reactor. ITU scientists are on a mission to maximize the fuel rod reliability, but also to guarantee an efficient use of resources, such as the recycling of spent fuel into new Reliability and efficiency are key words at ITU. The hot cell unit's mechanical workshop is a perfect example. All the procedures, even for simple measurements or activities, have to be carefully designed and tested in advance. This also means that all the components that go inside the cells have to be designed and built so that it is easy to open and close valves and do all the necessary operation in the hot cells. We must not forget that once something enters a hot cell, it will be exposed to contamination. And so it is important that its use is optimized and lasts for a very long time. Now the samples go to the material research unit. Here ITU investigates fuel reactions under accident conditions. We want on a laboratory scale simulate what might happen in case of accident in a nuclear reactor. And in particular, we want to simulate the use of coolant that might lead to overheating of the fuel up to its melting. It's called a core meltdown accident. This kind of sample is to simulate what happens if we mix artificially in a lab the components of, of the core of the reactor. So we have here UO2, the fuel, we have zirconium dioxide and iron oxide to simulate the structural material around it. We heat them and we want to see what the behavior of this material is if we change the composition of the sample itself, if we change the heating power, if we change the atmosphere in which this heating process takes place. Lasers heat the fuel sample up to 7,000 Kelvin without any element in contact with the sample itself. Thanks to these tests, the melting point of the fuel is established. The fuel itself can be optimized, so better to resist the extreme conditions of an accident. Also, these studies are very important to contribute to, to determine the best way to remediate to such severe accident. 
So how to remove the, the fuel once it is degraded, it's not anymore in its regular shape, and how to clean up the whole facility, how to decommission it and bring it back to the pristine uh, uh, state. Their eyes always fixed on the future. ITU researchers do not only work on conventional fuel, they're also in charge of investigating fuel safety aspects of the next generation of reactors. Developing methods to reduce the amount of long-lived radioactive waste, studying spent nuclear fuel behavior in a geological repository. In ITU, the safety of nuclear fuel is not just a slogan, it's a commitment for European citizens.